With warm weather bringing lots of time outdoors, summer is a great season to adopt a pet. But for people like Kathy Howerton, who can't commit to a full-time dog, the SPCA offers programs for volunteers who want to spend time with these four-legged companions. This will be my fourth year that I've been doing it. And originally I started for a very selfish reason. Actually, I started because I wanted to motivate myself to get out and walk. My doctor wanted me to get out and walk. And I felt that I could keep a, a promise to a dog better than I could keep a promise to me. Exercise is just one great reason to volunteer to walk dogs. Other motivations include financial issues, time commitments, or buildings that don't allow pets. Well, I live in a no-pet building, and although I do have my cat in my no-pet building, um, dogs are not allowed, and, and uh, I, just, I just love animals, and if you want to connect with animals, it's a good way to do it. And there's different programs besides dog walking, too. There's fostering animals and, and uh, just different things that you can do. SPCA employees like Melissa Bellingham appreciate the extra help, but also see this as a great opportunity for people who can't have pets. Most people love animals, but you know they can't, either can't have one or they don't have the time or there's restrictions. So it just gives them the opportunity to come out and not only to learn about animals, but also to, to be able to spend some time with them and to help to add to the animal's welfare. The joy of, of seeing a dog that's happy when it gets out and everything and, and, and walking with them is just it's great. It's absolutely great and it relaxes them makes them more adoptable if they can get out and be socialized and, and with, with you or with other people and hopefully other animals too, you know, dogs in particular. You know. The BC SPCA has over 4,000 volunteers who do everything from walking, grooming, fostering and even awareness programs. If you're interested in getting involved, you can either visit their website or head down to your local SPCA for more information. In Burnaby, Ellie Short for BCIT Magazine.